Um, you know, it's, um, you know, it, our guys have been very aggressive. I, I was so happy the way that they came out with the energy and aggressiveness. And, you know, when we built a 10-point lead with 40 seconds to go, we said, no fouls, just do not foul. They're going to try to take it. They make a two or a three and take the ball out. We, we need the clock. And, uh, you know, we were still being a little bit too aggressive, uh, which stopped the clock, put them at the line, set up their defense, all the things that you don't want to happen. Um, but for the most part, uh, you know, we found a way to win. It wasn't pretty. Um, I said before, the NIT is an energy tournament. Um, and, uh, you know, our guys, I thought, played their hearts out. Both teams did. It uh, wasn't perfect, but... You know, we played a good enough defense in the first half to get that lead, and it carried us to the, you know, to the end of the game. Hey, I, I thought that you guys would deliver like an early knockout with that second quarter there. What just sort of, sort of happened between that second and that third? I just think that he's a great coach, and they've got a championship program. Uh, and they've got one of the best players in the country that nobody knows about. I knew about it when we scrimmaged him the first time. Like wow, and then watching him and. In basketball, he's a he can pass, he can dribble, he can shoot, he competes, he can drive, he rebounds, and uh, you know, championship coaches, championship programs, they never say die, and you knew they were going to make a run. When they cut it to three, um, you know, we we did a good job to get it back up to ten, you know, with that, with that last forty seconds. But the cushion that we got in the first half, uh, you know, I think saved us. When it's sort of a late game situation like that, where you're up and. In I mean, what is kind of the discussion with your players? Because, I mean, yes, in one way you've been there before, but in the other, each situation is different. So what is that discussion, especially as you're trying to manage fouls and, and like, keep a lead? Well, that was the thing about it. You, you know, it's like you got to get the stop or do you got to have good foul shooters in there. So if you get the stop, you have, you have your defensive team in there and, you get, you know, they get fouled or whatnot, they get the ball in and they can foul you. And you got to make foul shots down the stretch. That's a huge part of the game. So there's that. You know, Noah being our best foul shooter and best big, you know, him fouling out. And we had the one timeout where we only had one left where we had to set up our our, our press break, what we were going to do. And a uh, couple turnovers, a couple fouls. But uh, we were lucky to come out at the end. But for the most part, for most of the game, for th at least three quarters of the game, we did a really good job of, of executing our defense and, and finding the shooters and as much as we could. In the second half, they made some shots. And... Don't forget, in the first half, we were plus five rebounding. We ended up being negative nine. So they really pounded us in that paint in the second half, and that was a big part of the game, and that's what championship programs do. They, you know, they fight, fight, fight until the end, and they did, and they had a chance. Mike, does the quarter situation where you had the bonus of five fouls, does that change the way you have to coach the game and the way you have to call the game? Well, it's interesting because uh, I don't. it was the end of the first quarter. We tried to go two for one. We haven't tried to do that in a long time, but two for one can give you – Probably it could get, end up getting you four extra shots than your opponent. So we, we tried it. Uh, didn't execute it great, but it was something that we just put in recently. Um, but it is, you know, getting that foul on you. The foul game is huge, and that's where they beat us in the first half. They got us in foul trouble. They went to the foul line, and uh, that's where we didn't. But in the second half, or in the third quarter, we got them in early foul trouble, and I think that's where we, we were able to kind of capitalize at the one. Well, Jalen, uh, you know, he's a great player and he competes and he's small back there. I mean, Boise, the one thing that I'll always remember about him the, the first time we played him in the exhibition is they were so physical. Like, you, you know, you play a team and you feel them. You know, they're big, they're physical, and, they, you know, they're, they're boxing out. They're all really well, well coached. And, you know, Jalen's over there looking like, you know, he's 6'3", <laughs> battling. Those guys are monsters. But he did a heck of a job. And in the first half, we talked about it. You know, look, look at our stats. Like, David had five rebounds. Matisse had five rebounds. He had six rebounds. Dominic Green had seven. He had six at halftime. Uh, that's what you need in our zone. And, and, and that was big, um, especially in the first half. Okay. And, you know, it was probably night and day. But how different was this game from the first time that you guys played? You know, just different. Um, you know, um, we were lucky they didn't shoot well. They've got really good shooters. I don't know if the, the new line. Uh, help that you know they were able to make them in the second half. Uh, we did a decent job of, of you know executing the game plan, trying to keep got certain guys out of the paint, uh, taking away some of the three point shots. They, we were fortunate they missed a couple, and we were able to rebound. And uh, we were able to get that cushion and score. 
uh, when we had that lead and it started diminishing, we were not getting great offense. You know, I think that's what really, you know, sometimes we allow some of our bad offense to affect our defense. You're thinking about the turnover or you leave your feet and you do something crazy. Uh, but uh, listen, in March, all it is is survive and advance when you're in tournament play, and we found a way to do it. And uh, we beat, let me tell you something, we beat a really good basketball team. And, uh, you know, Coach Rice is one of the best coaches in the game. He got unfortunate luck by having to play a road game. <laughs> you know what I mean? The NCAA tournament being there. But a uh, heck of a program uh, represents the West Coast basketball at the highest level. Sure, you think about your last two games coming into this, late game situations kind of an issue against Oregon and Oregon State. So what was it like to see your team kind of come through uh, and win this and kind of handle that? I mean, is it a building block going forward, or is it maybe not that bad right now? I think so. I think, you know, in, in both games, we, we got in foul trouble. In Oregon State, we lost Jalen and Noah, uh, your two best offensive players for the most part. You know, we've got to do a better job on that. But, you know, we work on a lot of situations. We've been great in most close games. You know, we've won most of our close games. Um, but for the, for the most part, you just can't foul at the end of games. <laughs> It's, don't foul. What part of that don't you understand? <laughs> Do you not know that? But, you know, listen, at the end of the day, these kids played hard, and that's the most important thing. The execution wasn't perfect, but we got through round one against a really good team, and uh, I'm, I'm proud of our guys. Does it mean something more that in the first year as a coach, you're able to get past the first round and not just get into a tournament, but actually, you know, advance in a couple more rounds? I think the greatest thing is that there's a lot of teams that aren't playing, and there's a lot of teams that get a chance to get better, play against great competition, see what your team's about. Tournament play, you know, you, you know, you're getting an opportunity to advance and play a great team like St. Mary's, another great program that should have been in the tournament. And uh, you know, that's how you grow. You grow again, you know, playing on the road, playing at home, playing against the best. Uh, I think our game against Boise at the beginning of the year was a great test for us as an exhibition game against a, a team that out physical dust out did everything and taught us a lot about ourselves early and uh you know coach rice i would call him i'd ask him about our team i'd be like what do you think and he he'd been a really great friend of mine and gave me some great suggestions so i um you know it's, those things you you learn from it and so just like that experience this experience uh playing in the prestigious tournament like the nit with so many great teams i mean there's eight to ten teams i looked at the bracket and i'm like wow are we in the ncaa tournament like you know, the teams, the programs, the opportunity. I mean, that's all incredible stuff. A couple more guys. Like speaking of the NCAA, I don't know if you saw, but Syracuse uh, was able to beat Arizona State. Oh, they did? And, yeah, those guys, when you're in a situation like this where you're wanting to pay attention to your team, I mean, do you follow the NCAA at all, or is it just focused simply on the NIT? Uh, listen, I, I've, listen I, to be honest with you, I focus on our team, our league. Uh, rooting for our league felt like uh, West Coast basketball was a little bit slighted. Yeah, but you know, I look for our teams. I root for everybody uh, in the Pac-12. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Great coaches. It's great. You know, that's why. Like, I love a guy like you know Leon Rice, one of the best coaches. A lot of guys because he's a Boise. You know, he's look at these games he's won. His program has done as good as any program on the West Coast. You look at St. Mary's, what they've done. Look at Gonzaga. I mean, West Coast basketball is great. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to being a part of the growth of that. And uh, this tournament's a great opportunity against great teams and get better, move forward, and see what we got. One more? You guys good? Fantastic. Let's go. Let's go.